Hey everybody and welcome back to Wacom Texas. The show where you dream past the part and we screencast some art. <clears throat> I'm Jay Myers. I'm Chris Kerr. And today we're going to um, talk about something that's not quite so pleasant to talk about but it's everywhere in the news now and something you should all be aware of. Uh, I, I don't believe in it. I don't think it's real. I do believe in it. And in fact, I googled it. images of it and honestly it's disgusting and it's very scary. Uh, and you guys should be probably pretty scared, actually. There's a chance it could come over here and, and wipe out the entire uh, American nation as we know it. In fact, this will be video documentation of us Wait, knowing about it prior to us being killed by it. Give them time to uh, let them guess what it could be. Yeah, take a guess. That's probably not it. Probably not it. One more time. Nope. It's not AIDS. It's not it is chlamydia. It's not chlamydia. Not syphilis. It's not syphilis. It's not... Kakui. It's not Kakui. <laughs> it's not the boogeyman. It's not the boogeyman. It is, it is Ebola. Ebola. I, Ebola. I don't know. I actually look it I, no, I it's Ebola. It. It's, it's with an A. I believe in it. Okay. We have already been working on the image. And what we have here is a oh, hand. Wait, sorry, bring it back here. All right. We have an uninfected hand, a normal, healthy Hand and arm and, and veins. blue veins. Now, what That's Ebola normal. does is it actually, it'll dry out <clears throat> your body, I think. The images look kind of uh, pretty good. Is that going to work? Yeah. Okay. That's the That's the Ebola, Ebola affecting Ebola. I keep thinking, I think it's because of E. coli. So oh, it's like that's what Ebola. I got about. E. coli, I don't think, can kill you. That make you sick. Yeah, that's like a stomach. But Ebola disease. will kill you. It, you. It's killed hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of people so far. And in fact, early on, kind of like someone... Okay, hold the, on. The one, reason, you know why it's called... One thing you want to do is you want to get some of the Ebola next to each other. It's called overlap. It's a very common design principle. So you have scale, overlap. Uh, you know why it's called Ebola? Tension. You know why it's called Ebola? Because it was first discovered um, in the Can Congo with, uh, size 30, near the Ebola River. Size 30 point and black color. Near the Ebola River. So it just got the name. Uh, how about that? Is that small enough or no? Smaller. No, smaller. 30 and black. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Right. So it was near, uh, first discovered, I think, uh, kind of near Sudan or something. Uh, I can't remember exactly where. But it, it's had several outbreaks in Africa. Uh, wiping out, you know, thousands of people, hundreds of people, and now it's it's making a resurgence. And in fact, they've had a couple people be uh, uh, brought back to the states. They knew they had it, so they were quarantined the whole time. But they're being treated here now because they're American citizens. So this is a pretty scary thing. The news has been covering it pretty heavily now. And I remember the first time I saw it, there was on a on a news website I read out the front. It said, you know, hundreds dead Ebola. And then it was showed, like it said trouble in the Gaza Strip. No, it's dead. No, that that is true. There is trouble right. Derek was saying we had technical problems, but we're yeah, back. But, ooh, back. I don't even know how to get back into what we were talking about, but because it, it was got pretty intense. <clears throat> we're talking about the Ebola virus still, um, and then something about the Gaza Strip. Yeah, it's pretty serious, and folks. Then, it's uh, not like uh, chicken pox or something like that. We're talking about. A face-eating virus. Well, the thing that, that's scary about this is okay, they don't but, know how to, uh, to stop it or, or, or cure it yet. So, But the Ebola, they're smiling because they're happy. Once they get... They're thriving. One, probably yeah, on once they're body. thriving, then they're, they're pretty excited. That guy looks a little upset. Yeah. Um, but under a microscope, this is basically what you're looking at. It's a cell... And kind of, it looks like a snake sometimes too. I think. So, what percentage of people live through? Uh, one of the worst cases is it was not kidding you. It was ninety percent of the people that got it died, wiped out ninety percent. All right. So the odds are not in your favor if you were to get this. Um, now I think if it's carefully watched and monitored, maybe your odds are a little bit better, but it's not good. That's it. That's what I have to offer. Yeah. So I'm sorry to bring it, bring it down and make it so dark, but, you know, this is a real thing, folks, and, and it's something to be at least aware of. Um, maybe make Wash some... your hands, wear a dust mask. And, and use a lot of the um, germ killer. Right. You know? Don't be afraid to wear rubber gloves on the um, train. On the train. Or airplanes. Right. But hand sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of germs, including Ebola, right? I think so. 
I think so. And so um, the hand sanitizer, you know, one germ lives and makes super germs in your hands, but that's something, that's another, yeah. you know, another. So there's Purell, yeah. there's Johnson & Johnson, a lot of different brands. All the and even they brand. make some now that are, are work so well that they're yeah. out also um, moisturizers, which is nice because they'll dry out your hands real bad. So, it's which cool. is the same with the Ebola, and dry out your hands. Yeah. Um, be careful out there. Or stay inside. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to. You could stock up on food and not go outside. Maybe it might not be worth the risk to even lead a normal, productive life. It might be better just to stay in. For a little while. Or forever. All right. Well, thank you. That's our show. That's our show. Be careful. Wake up. Texas. Texas.